Hello and welcome to my channel again. My name is Anne Sakbore and I'm the Executive Director of Irresistible Sweet Buy Cakes and More in Lagos, Nigeria. So today we are going to be making uh, another wafer paper uh, topper. You know I'm all about wafer paper. I love wafer paper a lot. I always try as much as I can to incorporate wafer paper in all of my cakes. So today I'm going to make a wafer paper bowl that I will be adding to my cake, okay? So you stick around with me. If you haven't liked my page, please like my page, follow my channel. You can sh share it, like it. Please just like me, okay? We'll start now. Okay, so for this wafer paper uh, bowl, we will just be needing our wafer paper, a sheet. And then we'll be needing our steamer or whatever you have that can produce steam. And then all we need is a scissors, a ruler, and some glue. So I don't want my bow, uh, my bow to be so large. So I'll just go ahead and cut it. And uh, I'll tell you the dimensions that I used. So I have cut my wafer paper. And I decided to make uh, this edge 4 inches and the longer side eight inch okay so i have cut two of them you know because of course the bow has two sides and then uh this is for the center this is two inch by three and a half okay i didn't really measure it after i cut it i measured it so that you will know so now the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to be conditioning our wafer paper with our with our steamer so I'll be putting on my steamer now. Okay. Okay, so if you can see, I don't know if you will see the steam. So I'm putting my wafer paper across the steam just to condition it a bit and then So you can see and I'll start folding because my wafer paper is a bit um, my wafer paper is a bit thick so I need to condition it and make it a bit soft before I can start folding it to the consistency I want okay let me keep it this way so that you can see Can see that it's folding in because of the steam okay so now I'll start folding it's still, it's still stiff this wafer paper is 0 0.6 so it's going to it's taking a bit of a time. Should have used 0 0.3, it would have been easier. So I've pleated this bottom, I'm going to be bending it over so that I can pleat the other side. Okay, I'll pleat it some more. So I'm actually following the the position of my steam. So it's uh, if you are not careful, it's going to tear. So 
So I've pleated the second side. This is how it's going to be. So, one side of our bow is ready. So, I'll be doing the second side now. Okay, so I've done both sides. Uh, I put it in the uh, steam to make sure I can make it like a big pocket. Okay. The steam is preventing me from doing a proper video okay so this is one side of the bowl this is the other side of the bowl now so the next thing i will be doing is i'll be putting them together this way okay and the water is finished i need to add some more so i'll be putting my glue this way on top to put them together okay so this is glue i made this glue with wafer paper just add some pieces of wafer paper to water and you are good so i'm just adding the glue to it and sticking them together okay so our bows are put together. Now we need something to make this place look pretty. This is where our sec our center comes in. So I'll just be waiting for my water to heat up a bit and I'll steam it. Okay, so I'm steaming the center now. Okay, so I'll be folding it, I'll be pleating it this way, this way. Let me try to make two pleats. Okay. Let me try to see if I can make three pleats. So if you want to make more pleats, uh, that means you should... You should make it wider all right so with the, our pleats done i'll be wrapping it around our bow okay uh, i think it looks a little bit small so i'm going to cut a bigger strip and do it so i'm now using the steam to make my bowl a bit bulky a bit bulky, a bit bulky. <laughs> okay and our bow is ready i'll be painting this gold I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, you saw what I could do. Alright, catch you guys.